expecting the unexpected, you may not be disappointed. Or will you? Find out in this very special episode of... Tell you later. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe to their channel. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute, nonetheless. The melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Cause it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tell You Later. I'm Katie Lee. And I'm Thompson Coulson. <laughs> this is Townsend Coleman. That's right, Townsend yes. Coleman. Our is special <laughs> guest. And thank you to all the patrons who make this show possible. We really appreciate you so, so very much. And if this is blah, blah, blah. If this is your first time joining us and you like it, please subscribe and hit the the bell. Yeah, you have your That's own what, bell. Well, I was wondering, I saw I've got my very own right here. We like to give everybody a bell in case there's some alarm. Well, that if you, there's something that you know triggers well, bellish joy. Well, you, you would bellish be joy. You, you you bellish joy. Well, you, you can be, embellish the show. You you would be happy to know that I already own one of these. You I do. have one of these at home. Just yes. one. Just one. Yeah. I, well, only because I don't need two. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I could be a, I could be a two fisted. Fun. Bellisher, yeah, but but I'm not. I'm I'm a, I'm a one-handed bellisher. So, so yeah. Actually, you know, wh I'll tell you why I have one of these. Can I tell you why I have yes, one? Yes, tell me. Did I'm you, all did ears. You, did you need to do anything more before we start yammering? Because no, I think this is fine. Uh, is this, is I'll, this... I'll give some more information. You were worried you wouldn't have anything to talk about, right? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. No, all of a sudden, something fine. just dawned on me. Yeah. But what is no, it? <laughs> you know where this idea came from? Because I used to use one of these when I was on the radio. Really? Yeah. When I would do a morning show and I used to have a bell like this. And I'll tell you where I got the inspiration from. Okay. It's from Steve Allen. Oh, okay. Because Steve Allen, in his live show, you know, he plays piano. And, of course, mm -hmm. he's a songwriter and comedian. And But uh, he used to have one of these bells on his piano. And he'd use it for punchlines. Uh and you know, he, yeah. or to summon, you know, a character or whatever. Uh, but I thought, well, that's the coolest thing because I saw him in concert once and he was hilarious. In Cleveland or in Cle here? In Cleveland. In Cleveland. Yeah, mm -hmm. where I grew up. Mm -hmm. And, and so I, yeah, so I saw Steve Allen in concert and, uh, and was so intrigued by this bell notion that I thought, Boy, if I ever got on the radio, I'm going to do that, and I so want a bell. and so I did, and so I got and myself you got it. one of these. And you bells still right have there. it? I still have it. In fact, mine. That's has, like how has, old? Has well, it's got to be. Gosh, forty-five years, years old, old yeah. or so. Who? Uh, forty-five pushing fifty. Yeah, that's weird to me. Hallelujah! We're, we didn't really say that many years. It was really four or five years Don't ago. Don't break my bell. What are you <laughs> no, doing? Uh, this is it? my OCD. What is Katie? the matter I'm, with the bell? I, because it's not quite straight. And, oh, <laughs> and I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, Why don't you I'm use trying to bend it even. Here, is that oh, better? Is that yeah, a better bell? It actually is. Okay. Thank you. Whew, now I can breathe. Okay. Continue. <laughs> and it, well, maybe oh, that's why oh, that one sounds wait. better. I know, they have... Yeah, no, we're going to have to switch. You like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Vinny's dying this? over here because he gets it. This yeah. is my kazoo. Is that acceptable? Woo! Okay. So, t you finished the bell story. That was the bell story. Well, all I was going to say is, so my yes. bell has a piece of carpet that was carefully cut out into a circle uh -huh. by you. Moi. <laughs> and 
and adhesived into the bottom of the bell. Okay. So it's a nice. So it was so the, the whole point what of that was that, so in my in the studio when I was underneath. on the radio, I had to put it down, and I didn't want it making noise because the metal on just a but counter. He, but when you rang it, it still dinged. It dinged. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Because the carpet was actually facing. I should down. have asked you to bring your own bell. I well if next you, time if I had known that bells were <laughs> featured so prominently in <laughs> Tell You Later. I, yes. I would have thought to bring my own bell. Well, next time, yeah. No. The bells, popcorns, ukuleles, and kazoos are pretty y uk standard. Okay, ukuleles I have. I don't play them, but I have them. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. One never knows. An emergency when ukulele. <laughs> Someone breaks in in the middle of the night. And you'll, <laughs> El you kabonga. You don't. Yeah, you don't own a gun. You gotta <laughs> protect yourself. But you play really badly and scare them. Ah, that's scare what it them is. Away. Yeah. And then they go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> they go. They go yes, running. welcome to Cartoon Land in yeah, our well, heads, that's, everybody. That's right. But okay, so let me just digress just a little bit. Okay. You mentioned Cleveland. Cleveland. And so the reason you, Cleveland, the reason you are here is not only because you're a fascinating person that everybody wants to know more about, including myself, but. You met Will in Cleveland. You knew him before he moved out here. So I, 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 and people often <clears throat> probably think, well, those of you who are Adventures and Odyssey fans know Towney as Jason on Adventures and Odyssey, uh, which we all work together on. Yeah. And, uh, but he's also done a bazillion cartoon voices and announced on how many different networks? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, three of the major ones. I was at NBC for... There were only three major ones when I was born. Yeah, but because th that didn't include Fox back then. Right. But now Fox is included in really sort of the big four. Right. So I thought that people mm -hmm. might want to hear your story about how you met Will. Yeah. And, 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 and I know he had something to do with you coming out to California, too. He had a lot to do with me to, uh, uh, to do with me coming out to California. Yeah. He got you those speech <laughs> lessons, right? Got, so he, you could do that. He, he did, yeah. And, uh, no, I, I met Will, um, before I even got into radio. It was in 1973. And, uh, Whoa. I had just finished, yeah, I just finished Which my first. Which just proves you're older than me. That yeah. does prove it. <laughs> yes, it does. Doesn't it? Yeah. Show me your driver's Of course, license. I wasn't in. I wasn't in radio in '73 either, so I guess it's kind no, of the same. Because you were still reading Doctor Seuss books. Nah, no, that's that not true. But, but <clears throat> yeah. So in 1973, I had just finished my first year of college. I went to University of Colorado in Boulder, and uh, was I went out there to study architecture actually because I wanted to go to school at Cal Arts in uh, California here. Which is? And, which is uh, California Institute of the Arts. It's a Disney school. And for animators. For, well, not just for animators. It's for actors as well and and computer um, animators. And, and what mean, were you interested in at the uh, time? Acting. Oh. Yeah. I wanted acting to, for computers? Uh, acting for computers. And I wanted it, which you can do now. By the way, how so? Well, you've heard of this thing called Siri or Alexa, or uh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's lots of acting for computers now, but back then we didn't even know what computers were, um, at least not personal computers. But yeah, so back in '73, I was uh, I was an architecture major, which lasted about. Two and a half minutes. You're an architecture major who wanted to be an actor. Right. Okay, and, because they the both only, start with A, and that was the only thing in the catalog right. that you could it, sign exactly. up for. Exactly. I just I started, and I am so ADD, I couldn't get past those first couple of words. So it was, so a, it was I, I said acting, that was my first one, and then I got down to architecture, and I said, well, I, if I can't do the acting thing, the architecture thing might Why have. did you think you couldn't do the acting thing? Because my mom wouldn't let me. Oh. Yeah. I wanted go. to go to CalArts out here in L.A., and uh, she wouldn't. She you wouldn't let me do it. And it was, first. And it was, and it was, and it was Cal Art's first year in business. 
um, back then. Oh. Yeah, and, and I wanted to go so badly, and she wouldn't let me, so architecture was the next best thing as far as and, I could tell. And oddly so. enough, your parents worked in radio, so they were, like, trying to keep you for well, my, TV? Well, my, my dad did, yeah. My parents actually met working at NBC in New York at 30 Rock, and my dad was, um, he was the boss of the pages. He was the, so he, he was the manager of uh, uh, what they call guest relations. Page boss, so, that's like when you help somebody who's playing the piano. Exactly. And page you turn time. the pages. Oh, right. No, not that kind of page. Oh. You know, did you ever see 30 Rock? You know, Kenneth, the page? Yes. Yeah, that's what my dad was the boss of. Okay. So he was the manager of the tour division at NBC in New York. But what he really wanted to do was be a network announcer. And mm. they had a school back then that you had to apply to. Uh, NBC did. Well, it's all in-house. And he applied and didn't get in. And he was so frustrated that he moved us from New York when I was a year old in 1955 um, out to Denver, Colorado at a time when they had like... I'll show you, 2, NBC. Yeah, right. I'm going to Colorado. I'm going to Denver. <laughs> and he actually got on the radio in Denver. And, well, good uh, for him. Yeah, was uh, in the... That's, <laughs> that's, wor bell. that's worth a bell. I think so. That's worth a ding. Oh. <laughs> and or, as Tim Conway Jr. says, ding dong. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so so that's how we ended up in Denver. But but yeah, and then my dad got out of the business um, a couple of years later and became a jeweler. Oh, of but, all things. Of all things, yeah, which he did to the day he died. Interesting. But. Um, but yeah, so 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 radio was kind of in my blood. I grew up listening to old time radio drama. So like when Adventures in Odyssey came along mm -hmm. for me, it was really a dream come true because I'd always wanted to do a, a, some sort of radio drama too. Mm -hmm. Because I grew up listening to these old time radio dramas that my dad had old tapes of, and they always fascinated me. So so that's kind of how I got into uh, into radio and. Um, when I was, when I came, so getting back to how I met Will, when I came back from college after my first year in college. you were there for college, a month, you I was, came home. No, 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 I, I finished, I finished out my first year, but I changed from being an architect major to being a theater major ah. anyway, despite what my mom wanted me to do. So, so, and, and as it turned out, my, uh, the second semester of my freshman year, I actually auditioned for and got the lead in the university production. That's pretty cool. As a freshman. Because, well, you are a terrific actor. I've seen you act. Oh. And, and you act good. I act, you act I'm, good. I act, he act good. He act He said all these words in the right... I saw you. I was what? I was there in the theater. I saw you. I saw you. You played like 17 million different characters <laughs> all in the same play. It was just you and some some lady. Oh, and, that's... And, that was, and you were just running around and out of breath and putting on hats <laughs> and changing your clothes. And I was like, whoa, just watching him is making me dizzy here. Yeah, that was a pretty fun one. That was, that was pretty wild. And I love being on stage. To be an actor, you 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 act good. Well, thank you yeah. very much. All right. So, so what so, was the pl what was the play? Do you remember? The play was called Life Is a Dream. Oh, yeah, it was wow. actually uh, an English translation of a, a Spanish Baroque um, style play, and uh, so. Uh, yes, I see that. I, 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 I've been, the I've been, crow of I've been, one. A, a, the crow of one is instructing me to make sure I look at the camera, um, which I've been attempting to do from time it's to time. It's hard because, because I know I'm you're, so fetching. I know you're there. And, I'm uh, so but that, fetching. But you are fetching. I know. And, um, you can't help it. It's okay. And, and, and she, she rang me up this morning and she said, I'm fetching you. So <laughs> come down come here down. and do this thing. Yes. And I said, okay. So here I am. So while I was home in the summer of 1973... Yeah. Back in Cleveland, um, I and won't get into how this happened, but struck up a relationship with a gal at a, a radio station in Cleveland, and <clears throat> she was the uh, program director there, ah. and she let me come down and uh, see this radio station and just take a look around because what I was looking to do was I was looking to make a demo, mm. and I wanted a to make over demo? a voiceover demo, oh, yeah, really? and. Um, and so she let me come down and use the production studio. <coughs> See, make friends. Point number one. Amen. Make friends. Make friends, yeah. Because people ask us all the time, how do I get into the, you know. Make friends. Know, make friends. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, you know, they, they used to say it's not what you know, but who you know. And in a way, that's very, very true. Um, although the what you know is just as important as who you know. But uh, Because once you know somebody, if you don't know anything, then it's kind of worthless. Then, yeah, it is kind of worthless. Yeah. yeah. And there's nothing worse than knowing somebody and not being prepared for that opportunity when it arises and you get it and they hand it to you and you're like... What is that that phrase you guys know? Up. Uh, Success when opportunity meets preparation. Do you remember anybody know yeah, that? Yeah, I, I know it. And if you know I, it, put it in the comments below because we're not going to look it up right, right now. Or hit the suggestion button or these. <laughs> Whatever. One of, one of these buttons. Something. Yeah, just hit just a button. Just don't change the channel. Okay, right. Continue. And stay right so, so while I was down at the, this radio station, mm -hmm. she was introducing me to some of the folks who worked there. And what she, was the name of the radio station? It was WNCR. NCR. Yeah. National Cash Register. Yes, my no, mother worked for NCR. Uh, right. But it, was but, it was, but it was a different NCR. Different NCR. This was actually Nationwide Communications. In, uh, By the Columbus. way, do you know why there's the W's and K's? Yeah, uh, for radio stations. Well, yeah, back back when radio got going and they had the the major um, networks. Uh, I can't explain this well, so I'm not going to try. Otherwise, I will appear. I mean, you don't explain as well as you act. Less brilliant than I. Hey, why don't you act like you know? <laughs> just, just make it <laughs> you're up. A, just, you're a good actor. Just pretend. Okay. So yeah, so the W's are all west of the uh, uh, W's are all east of the Mississippi. See, that doesn't K's, make sense. K's are all west of the Mississippi. Like, why isn't it? And, E and W. Because it, because it started with uh, the, the basic networks, the radio networks, the red and the blue networks, and somehow those split out and they became K's and W's. What's the and W? I don't, I don't okay, if you know the answer, please put it in the comments but do you know what the Do you know what the one radio station east of the Mississippi is that does start with a K? No. It's KDKA in Pittsburgh. KDKA, really? In Pittsburgh, yep. So they must yeah, as far as I know, it's the only That's radio odd. station. Yeah, uh, maybe east they have of the a, Mississippi they, they that does broad, start with a K. Broad, you know. Well, it's more than broad, yeah. Broad, what do you call it? Range. Yeah, uh, yeah. As 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 far as the signal will broadcast is what you're talking about. Yes, but yeah. now people just go on the internet and you can listen to any radio right. station. Right. Well, that was anywhere. terrestrial radio and and terrestrial. we're all wondering where that's going to go one day now that everything's outer space gone deal. On. It's going to be outer, outer space, space deal. deal radio. That's right. I think. That's right. Probably. Well, so it's already started there with satellite radio. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I don't have room in this house for a satellite. There's no way I'm going to be able to have satellite radio. So, in 1973, mm -hmm. I was at the radio station. She introduced me to this guy named Will Ryan, oh. who is the promotions director at this radio station. And Will and I got chatting, and he asked me about what I was doing, and I was d telling him. And I asked him about his job and what he did there. And he'd only been there about a month or two uh, when I met him. And uh, we just hit it off. We started chatting, and he told me about his art and uh, all the drawing and painting that he did. And, and I was fascinated because, and he was telling me about his music um, and I think a band that was he was in. Was he and Willio and Filio at the time? Not then. I don't think. Now, he may have been, but I don't think he mentioned it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I found out about that a couple of years later because I ran into Will um, at a point when, uh, now this is cutting to four years later in 1977 when I actually had gotten into radio at that point in Cleveland. And I was doing morning drive, uh, the the morning morning drive uh, shift at a Is disco. Is it hard to broadcast while you're driving? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never tried that, and I probably wouldn't want to. Oh, yeah, but uh, so. So I was doing morning drive at this uh, disco radio station. It was Disco 92 in Cleveland. And um, and I wanted a logo. And I remembered that Will was an artist. And we had kept in touch uh, over through those uh, four years. And so I called him up and I said, would you be able to, and if so, would you be willing to draw me a logo that we could make iron-on patches for, that we could give out to people at um, at events and promotions and stuff like Lo that? Local, what did they call them when you're on site? Location? Like uh, r doing remotes. Remotes. Like when we went and do would do remotes like from, the bri you. from the bridal fair or the, <laughs> Something the, exciting, the home like show. Yeah, the RV show. 
Yeah. You know, stuff like that. You know, the big... The uh, county fair. The, the county fair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or the, or the in our case in Cleveland, we had a big, uh, a big rib uh, cook-off every year. All yeah. right. And, and, and so we broadcast live from, from those places. But yeah, so I was looking for something that I could give out to listeners at places like this, at these remotes. And memorabilia. So, memorabilia, yeah. So Will drew me this fantastic logo. I wish I had it. I could show you. But, um, well, maybe we'll get a picture and we can put it up above. You can okay, send it to be, the crew of one. Be right up there and you can click it and then you can go. You can... Then you can buy Don't t-shirts. Don't make promises from my you can't keep. Okay, then you can't okay. buy anything. Because you can see it. We can but promise you, can, you that. But you can see it. Anyway, so back in those days, I was going by, using my initials, TC, Townsend Coleman, um, I was going by Top Cat. And so Heart, I was... What was it? Stang? Was t- 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 TC, what, Top Cat. Who's the guy who did Top Cat's voice? Stang. Stang. Arnold Stang. Arnold Stang, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, so I was using that. So he drew me this logo that's the top cat in this circle, and it says, uh, I, I, I wake up with uh, the top cat, Townsend Coleman, every morning on WLYT. Uh, Super cool. Uh, yeah, and so it was great. So I still have the original artwork that Will drew in 1977, and it's signed W.Z. Ryan, 1977. And I asked him what the Z stood for. And at the time, uh, I was telling Vinny this earlier, at the time, he he said nothing. Yeah, nothing. It was just... He liked Z. He just liked the letter Z. I'm like, wow, that is, Well, the, I love that about this guy. I mean, he, he's quirky and he does Makes these, like, up his makes own up, existence he's got his periodically. Own, right, right. Yes. he's got like his, his own universe that he lives in, in his head. And I thought, that's what I want to do. I want to. Did you ever finish your degree in acting, by the way? No, uh, no. <laughs> just, I, I, just, I, I went to one more semester of school yeah. um, after that in the second semester of what would have been my sophomore year and then I quit college and went home and and uh, in the fall of 74 didn't know what to do with my life so I got married I figured well that's yeah that'll give you something to do some, that's good impetus to, for making money right, right. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you have to <laughs> that's Ooh. right yeah well that's that's like you buying paying for guitar lessons and, thinking that'll make you learn the guitars you get married hoping you'll get right, a job that, right okay right. So, so that's how I met Will. And that, that's yeah, cool. and we we kind of kept in touch. And then several years later, um, now m- many years later, uh, so yeah, almost, gosh, eleven years after I met him, I ran into him. So in the intervening time, I had worked at five you know, I different. I re- you keep bumping into people a lot in your stories. Do you have like space? What do you mean? Problems? Well, because you're always saying I bumped into, I bumped into that one. Yeah, well, but I was wearing a bumper suit. Ah, okay. So, I wasn't so no hurt. one was hurt. I wasn't hurting okay, anybody. Okay. Yeah, I'm thoughtful like that. That's good. And uh, and so in 1984, after having worked at five different radio stations in Cleveland over those ten years, um, I had developed a uh, quite an active career doing voiceovers. On the side, because you're and, good at that too. Well, I ended. I turned out I was, yeah, and I was thrilled with that, and and would much rather have been doing my freelance voiceover work than working at the radio station. To six enjoy days the ago. full episode, please support us at Patreon.com/slash Tell You Later. Thanks a lot. Okay, what you, is, what's the first rule of improv, Townsend? Yes, yes. And Do you want to know the next question I'm going to ask you? I was hoping you would ask. Well, I'll tell you later. Tell me. Thanks for watching. Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us for so much more at patreon.com front slash tell you later.
strange. I have no idea what those two people were saying. Neither do I. Shall we watch it again? Yes. Any cryptologist would.